New Balance has been around for a while now, but they did have a dark period for some time. Now, thanks to their recent collaborations, they're probably one of the most trendiest sneakers you can buy right now. So today, I'm gonna give you some tips when it comes to New Balance, whether you're just getting into the brand or you've been rocking New Balance for a while now. Real quick guys, before we continue, I wanna go over the giveaway details that I announced in the last video. So in honor of hitting 100K subscribers, I'm gonna be giving away a pair of lost and found Jordan 1s in your size. So it's gonna be really simple to enter. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed, like the video, and comment down below your shoe size. So I'm gonna let the giveaway run for about a week, and then I'll announce the winners. So make sure you get your entries in, and good luck. Now before we get into it, if you guys like fashion, sneakers, or men's grooming, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Now let's go ahead and get into it. So first up, let's talk about overdressing with a statement pair of New Balance. These will be your New Balance sneakers with pops of color, like the Joe Fresh Goods, and the Salehi Benberries. While they are great sneakers, they are statement sneakers, meaning you don't have to do too much when it comes to the rest of your outfit because these will be your standout pieces. So when you're rocking one of these sneakers, make sure you keep the rest of the outfit simple. That way, it'll make the sneaker really shine and be the focal point of your outfit. Number two, you don't need to have the collaborations. There are countless of amazing New Balance collabs from AOD, Bodega, Stray Rats, and many others. But the truth is, some are very similar to pairs you can go into Foot Locker right now and buy. For example, let's take the ALD 550s. Great sneaker and great colorway. But if you wanted to buy a pair right now, they're going to be around $300. Now, if you're not so focused on the collaboration, you can get a very similar pair right now from any foot site for retail price at around $100. Now it's totally up to you whether you wanna spend an extra 200 for the collaboration. But if you want the same look at an affordable price, there's nothing wrong with going with the general release. These will save you a ton of money and like I said, you'll get the same look. Next up, let's talk about sizing. One of the worst feelings as a sneakerhead is ordering a pair online, getting it in hand, trying it on, and it either being too big or too small. Now, because this might be some of you guys' first time ordering New Balance, here are a few things you need to know before you order. New Balance sneakers fit true to size, so I definitely recommend you go for your normal size. New Balance sneakers are also made to fit directly out the box, meaning you don't have to wait and break them in to get the proper fit. Lastly, if you're in between sizes, just go with the size up, that way they're not fitting too snug, and you can always adjust the sneaker with the lacing, insoles, or socks. Next tip when it comes to New Balance is to try different models. Look, the 550s are probably the most popular model right now, but maybe that's not your style or maybe you want something a little different. This is why it's important to see all the different types of models New Balance has to offer. They have the 574s, 327s, 990 V3s, and 990 V5s. There's so much variety when it comes to New Balance which is one of the great things about them. If one's not your style, there will be another one you can choose from that will match your type of style. Now, some are more comfortable than others, like the 2002 R's, but some prioritize the old school look like the 550s. So it's gonna be important to just shop around and see what works best for you. Lastly, let's talk about styling New Balance. Because this might be your first time trying out New Balance, you wanna know how to style them properly. Well, thanks to all the great models and colorways, there are a ton of great ways to style them. Whether you're into a more streetwear look or menswear, New Balance works well with both. This means baggy pants will work well with certain models and slim to skinny pants will work well with others. New Balance is probably one of the most easiest to style depending on the model. It's not like a pair of chunky Jordans that only look good styled with looser pants. So if you wanna easily put together some great fits, then you cannot go wrong with New Balance. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know what your favorite New Balance model is in the comment section below. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys thought about this video down below and I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>